Okay, this next set in Kulo Wing Chun is called Wan Wu Yui. And Wan Wu Yui means life after death. And the idea is it's like one of those third level, Fuji form level, emergency moves, get yourself out of a bad situation. And the original was a lot like the very similar movement in most people Yip Man Yuji form. And I'm talking about the section where you do, right? The idea is you're breaking a grab, you're doing something, or maybe you're just putting yourself in an inferior position, somebody's on top of you, and you're coming up, you're clearing the line, you're coming back to center. So one version looked like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Then leaning back out of the way and coming back with a punch. That was kind of the original Wan Wu Lui. I'm life after death. Something's coming at me, it's like a no shit move. I'm about to get nailed, I'm about to die. And I get out of it and I'm alive again. Life after death. And it's one of these sets that was seen to break the rules because I'm breaking my center to be evasive and get out of the way, right? Either going forward or back. So it was seen as kind of a more advanced set, not because it was hard to do, but just because it kind of went outside some of the basic concepts in the system. Now, when I learned Kulo Wing Chun, this set had already been changed. It had already been changed to be more like a boxing motion, and that's how I still do it, of course. The concept in the set is to be evasive, to kind of get out of a bad situation. So the way I learned it, which was a more modern version, was standing, step back, I'm evading back, and then I snap forward again with my punch. And I fade back, snap forward. Fade back, snap forward. Fade back, snap forward. I idea something's coming at me. I evade just enough, but it can't reach me. And then as he's retracting his punch, I'm springing back in again. And then we also learned it from another angle. So standing here, turning this way, coming back. Standing here, evading this way, and then again, the guy's in front of me, so now I'm coming back. So I didn't have to change this one much at all from what I learned. I just put in more. I, get, I still do it with the chain punches, but I also do it with the boxing jab cross, or fade back, come back in. Start here, fade back, come back in. I start here, slip, come back in. Start here, slip, boom. Go again, back, punch. Back, punch. Back, punch. Back, punch. Back, punch. And that was essentially the Wan Wu Yui, or life after death. So obviously, if I bring my friend Adrian in, of course from boxing, you train this all the time from day one. It's not considered advanced, it's considered essential. So the high whole idea is I'm squaring off, and he's throwing a punch at me, and I evade back just enough, and then as he retracts, I'm following right back in, right? Fade, snapping right back. Fade, I snap right back. Fade, snap right back. Or I could have been here, I see a punch coming, could have evaded this way, and now as he withdraws, I'm snapping right back. Right? Bam, bam. Or I could have went this way, which would be riskier because I'm heading towards that hand. But if we were in a mismatch lead, right? If I was here, then that would be that, that outward step would become he's punching with this hand. Right? You're stepping like this, with this legs forward, stepping like this. And I'm getting out of the way. I'm coming back with something. Or I'm straight, it's dead on, either foot forward, and I just enough to avoid the punch, still covering myself, and snapping straight in. So again, it's that lined up. I do it from a neutral, just because that's convenient. It will typically be from a fighting stance. But from neutral, I can step back with one leg, snap forward, Step back with the opposite leg, snap forward, evade to the right, snap forward, evade to the left, snap forward. So I can make a, a drill out of that. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. Bam, bam. bam. And that's the, essentially the Wan Wa Yui set, Life After Death, from Kulo Wing Chun. Okay, the Wan Wu Yui on the dummy. Like the hawk bong, there's not a good satisfying way to do this on the dummy and I did not learn originally. And there's no kind of this version on the dummy because the dummy can't come at you. But for kind of our 
when you unboxing version, my dummy is just a target. So I could do this exact same thing on a heavy bag or on my bob, my body opponent bag. It's just a, just having a target. So I square off so I can kind of get a sense of the range. If I step back, and now I can work on my distance where I'm popping in from just the right just the right distance. Right, I'm gonna here, fade back, hit. Fade back, hit. Switch feet. Fade back, hit. Fade back, hit. So the dummy is my target. As I'm going forward now, I can work on various angles, and I'm still I've still got a good target. But just that sense of knowing the distance, and being able to fade back to evade and snap in. So I could be standing here and do the, catch the angles too, right? Be out here, and now I'm coming back. Here, here's my coming at this angle, and now I'm coming back. I can, with the dummy arms, I can practice knocking something offline as I evade, and I'm coming back. And that's how we do the Wayne Muyui on the dummy.